Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look at the 55 gallon worm bin and see what it's doing. It's been about a week, week and a half since we took a look in it, so let's just see what he's doing. Well, it looks like they're still not depopulating from the most finished areas, as you can see by the little, little worms. Still seem to be throughout. And then let me take the bubble wrap off and see what the newest portions are doing. And right off the bat, I can see a lot of pill bugs scrambling. Looks like some of the shredded uh, donated paper has come to the top. Remember Emily, the crazy worm lady, often said that the worms would move the unedible items up to the top. And I actually th think that might be true. I mean, you see little things of plastic. I don't intentionally feed my worms plastic, but if it comes in with the shredded paper, that's what happens. But I often do see them pressed up to, you know, pushed up to the top as perhaps the worms find it undesirable. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what's going on on the leading edge. Alright. Didn't actually look and see what I fed last time. If you hear humming in the background, it is the fan trying to distribute the air in the house got a heat index of like a hundred today so let's see what's going on here lots of worms that is a ton of worms oh, looks like one of the oranges they're not done with I am seeing a sizable worm ball right underneath where the oranges were All right, well, let's fluff everything up here and make sure they've got some good air and make sure everything is becoming homogenous, which is the plan. Last time, if you remember, or if you've seen recently, I did mix up the bedding that I normally use, which is the paper bedding, with what was left over of some of my leaf bedding. So the leaf bedding and the paper bedding got mixed together last time. Still have that uh, cinnamon stick, which it looks like, I don't know if you can see, they're actually inside the cinnamon stick. Even worms like pumpkin spice. I'm not seeing anything except for that one little orange as far as food that I can identify is the other half of that cinnamon stick. Kind of just going to flip this all over and, and see how it's doing. The moisture's better. <clears throat> I think last time it was a little wet on the bottom, so I left the, the covering off of everything except for the newest part where I fed. I didn't want that to be exposed to the open air and uh, to attract pest anywhere. But we're getting into the area. This, this should be almost done here. And as you can tell, worms are not moving out, but I'm gonna take all of the big pieces that I find and move them to the end. Just making sure that nothing goes anaerobic on me. I can smell the oranges. There's another avocado trying to grow. So yeah, the bottom is still a little bit wet towards the, the finished end, so I'm going to fluff that up a little bit. 
the humidity has been pretty high. It has been raining here almost every day. All right, well, we've got that all fluffed up. Move that back over now. Really huge concentration of worms. I think I hypothesized that I had probably seven or eight pounds of worms here, but I'll bet it's more. Just looking at how many, how many I'm seeing throughout, even in the parts that are mostly finished. They are definitely multiplying rapidly. Got some good size worms in there. I think they're able to get bigger as more real estate becomes available because I extend it out farther. Maybe the worms get bigger. So that will be the, maybe the legacy for the Titan worms is that more real estate means bigger worms. I guess I don't really care how big the worms are. They're, I mean, it's kind of cool to see really huge ones, but not necessary. So I'm gonna take all of my, my favorite, more or less compostable bags here, tuck them under. And all the big pieces that I found. And then I'm going to go get them a feeding. Okay, well, here's a, a bag from work. And as everybody's probably used to me saying, it is mostly coffee and banana peels. So just coffee and banana peels this time, and then the leftover oranges from last last time so i'm gonna go get them a refill of their bedding okay so we got a mixture of leaf and paper bedding today cover up all of the foodstuffs we we just fed try not to get too much activity from undesirable critters moving into the bin so we'll back up and see what's going on here. Here we are, this week's update on the 55 gallon worm bin. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you wanna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day.